10.30 p.m. about to go to bed and I'm going to run an experiment this following week. Um, the goal is to every single day be up out of bed before 5 a.m. Um, the only thing I'm going to, going to keep myself accountable towards is actually being out of bed before 5 a.m. and making a cup of coffee. The thought is, um, if I can be up before 5 a.m. Um, and if I actually make a cup of coffee, I'm actually likely to stay up. Um, but after that cup of coffee is made and I drink it, I can do whatever I want after that. So if I really want to, I can just go back to bed. Um, just gonna see how this next week goes. Um, again, just a, an experiment, and we're just gonna go from here. All right, so it is 4.45. Now, don't feel too tired. The coffee is brewing, and I'm gonna go get that, and I'll be back. It is now 6.31. Coffee is completely gone. Got some journaling in, some reading, and some writing. I think it's time for a little bit of a nap now, and then we'll get the day going from there. All right, folks, it is now 9.30. Um, got coffee, round number two. Smells delicious, this time out of the French press. So, just went back to sleep for about an hour, a little over an hour, and got up, took a shower, got some, even got some cleaning done. Um, so yeah, 9.30, I'm feeling pretty good. Usually right now is when I'm either just starting on my normal morning things or in the middle of them. And today, having woke up at 4.45, slightly earlier, um, I'm already done with those things. So this is perfect. Um, now I get a chance to do some things I otherwise wouldn't have time to, and I'm ready to start crushing it and um, getting on with the day. So far, I feel pretty good. We'll see how I feel the rest of the day. It is Tuesday, up before 5. is It is currently 5.33, and I am off to work. See you guys later. Up before the enemy. Burn them down. <sighs> Day five. Good morning, folks. It is Sunday. Got my Sunday morning coffee. Pretty good. Um, so I wanted to make this video Friday, but got a little busy, so I'm making it now. And if you are watching this, you will know by now that this past week I decided to get up out of bed before 5 a.m. every single day. So Tuesdays and Thursdays, this wouldn't have been that hard just because I have to be at the gym at 6 and I'm already, my alarms are already going off at 5 a.m. most days or every Tuesday and Thursday anyways. But Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, don't have to be at the gym until noon. So that was gonna be a little bit harder. And all I held myself accountable to was I had to get out of bed, be out of bed before 5 a.m. and I had to make and drink a cup of coffee. Um, and then I could do whatever the hell I wanted to after that. The thought behind that was if I make and drink a cup of coffee, I'm probably not going to go right back to bed. So I just want to kind of relay my thoughts on how this past week went and kind of what I learned from it or just kind of what I got out of it and how I felt. So um, going to bed Sunday night was actually, I actually had a thought in my mind that my alarm's going to go off at 4.30 tomorrow and as soon as it goes off, I'm just going to be like, nope, I'm already done with this project. But, and actually Sunday night, I was kind of in and out of sleep, almost anticipating my alarm. But it went off and I actually hopped right out of bed. Um, so basically my routine this week, pretty much Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I got up at 4.30, 4.45. 
I was definitely out of bed by 4.45 every single morning and I would go straight to the coffee maker, um, make some coffee, make a cup of coffee, took about four or five minutes. I'd use the bathroom while the coffee was a brewing and I'd get my coffee, I'd come in here in my nice little office setup that I got now and I would just start doing my work. I would basically my morning start off with journaling on this guy, reading a little bit of this guy, and then just one big long page, just free thought writing on this bottom guy. So I do that and then I would start working on kind of one of the projects I'm working on at the gym, mostly a writing project right now. And then I'd read a little bit more and then about six, somewhere after six, I'd basically get started on, on all this stuff at 5 a.m. I'd be done somewhere around 6.15, 6.30, and then I'd go back to bed for an hour, hour and a half. So then I'd wake up about eight o'clock, which is usually when I'm starting to work on all this stuff, and that stuff was already done. So I definitely, over the week, I definitely felt more productive. I liked, I really liked the quiet time in the morning from five o'clock to six o'clock. It was just an hour of, you know, no one else is awake, and you don't even want to check your phone because there's just nothing happening on your phone. So it was a really hour to an hour and a half of just super productive, super focused time. And I really enjoyed it. And each, there's something about having to wake up at 4.30, 4.45 or 5 to be somewhere at 6 or 6.30 or 7. It's harder to get out of bed when you have to be somewhere. One of the things I kind of thought this week was getting up that early on my own time where I don't have to be anywhere, but I can just hang out and do whatever I want in my own house. I think that helped me get out of bed a little bit easier. So I did, I really like, I was kind of surprised how easy it was for me to wake up. Um, I've worked jobs in the past where I've had to get up at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. And I, I know the first week is the easiest week because it's so new to your body. But then like weeks three and four after you're a month in, you're just like, this is awful. So um, I'm actually going to continue doing this um, and just kind of see where it leads me. Um, hopefully it stays relatively easy. I think, like I said, I think the big part about it is when you wake up and don't have to be anywhere, but can just do what you want in your own house. I think there's, it's easier to wake up. There's just a little bit more kind of joy coming from it. Um, my energy this week was actually pretty good. Um, I think that na little nap in the morning helped. I did kind of most days hit a wall at like one o'clock. Um, that's usually when I train too. So that was kind of hard and I felt like my body was a little beat down this week, but I don't know if that was from waking up early or just the accumulative training and I started a new training program this week. Um, but I trained Friday, everything felt awesome. So overall, my energy felt good. I did feel like when waking up that early, so Jocko Willink calls this up before the enemy and just kind of centering your life on this, like getting your day started on this really like disciplined thing to do. So if you can wake up that early every morning, the thought is kind of, you create more freedom for yourself. Discipline equals freedom. That's another one of his mantras. And then you can just keep that going throughout the day. And I did feel more disciplined on things throughout the day. My thought is, if I can get one of the hardest things out of the way right away by waking up at 4.30, 4.45, most people aren't doing that. Most people don't even want to do it. Most people don't think they can do it. So I, if I can do that and I can get my day started like that, each day, I the thought is I'm going to be more disciplined throughout the day and just keep that energy, keep that momentum rolling through other things throughout the day. And I think the whole structure of that, just doing that, only holding myself accountable to that, I think will kind of set my life up in a kind of a systematic way where I'm just kind of like knocking things down left and right and I have this kind of more clear mental energy going into everything and the backdrop of that is kind of a disciplined lifestyle and the meat and bones of that would be to just would be just waking up that early and if I can do that shit what can I do um, probably a lot actually um, but anyways experiment went really well 
I think it helped that I didn't hold myself accountable to too much or set the ex expectations too high. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I want to share. Um, yeah, so I'm going to continue this. Oh, one last thing. So waking up that early, I didn't do it on Saturday. Today's Sunday. Didn't do it today. Saturday, I still had to wake up at 6. It's amazing how that feels like sleeping in when the previous five days before that, you were waking up at 4.30, 4.45. 6 a.m. felt great. So that's also another plus. Is if you're waking up that early in the morning, 6 a.m., which is super early for most people, was super early to me, kind of feels like sleeping in. So anyways, that is all I want to share. Um, I'm going to keep this train rolling, keep it rocking, see where it leads me. Maybe I'll stop, maybe I won't, but this past week I think was really good. I really enjoyed it, and I think it uh, it helped some things a lot. So here's to that. Here's to waking up before the enemy.